Friends, this is a posterior subcapsular cataract. The patient is a 40-year-old young lady and there is no cataract in the nucleus. Nucleus is clear. So, this is a soft lens matter and I have planned to do phaco aspiration in this case. Phaco aspiration means the lens matter is so soft that you don't need any ultrasonic energy to emulsify the lens matter and you can just use vacuum to aspirate the lens matter. This is high, this is capsular axis. I have incised the capsule and this capsular tag has been raised. I hold this tag with a uterator forceps. Go anticlockwise and with three grasps. Just three grasps. I complete the axis. I try to remain at equal distance from the border of the pupil. Thus, I managed to get a round axis. Now this is hydrodissection and this is hydrodelineation. In this case, I am going to use 450 millimeter of mercury vacuum and the probe will be kept bevel down and the lens matter will be aspirated without using any ultrasonic energy. This is Oatly Cataracts 3 FACO machine. Here it is. The teeth is introduced into the anterior chamber, bevel down, and with vacuum, the lens matter is aspirated within few seconds. Towards the end, the FACO teeth is turned and the bevel is made off towards the corneal endothelium so that I don't catch in the posterior capsule. That's it. Faco aspiration is very fast. You just have to aspirate the lens matter. Now viscoelastic substance is injected and in this case I'm going to use 23 gauze Simcoe cannula to remove the cortical matter. I encourage you to remove bimanual irrigation aspiration because with Simcoe cannula you have to make the side port little larger If you use bimanual irrigation aspiration, you can make smaller side ports. In this case, we can see some fibrous tissue sticking to the posterior capsule and it cannot be polished out. The patient is young, 40 years old, and I'm expecting that the patient will develop PCO very fast. And within three months, the patient will need ear glazer capsulotomy. Sometimes I do ear glazer capsulotomy within two weeks. If this plaque, fibrous plaque, causes diminution of vision, but this plaque will not cause much hindrance in vision, and I can wait for about three months. Scholastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber and into the capsular bag. And now, in this case, I'm going to implant a hydrophobic acrylic aspheric intraocular lens from Abbott Medical Optics. No financial interest, but it is a far better lens than the Acrisoft material. Acrisoft material develops microvacuoles, that is glistenings, but these lenses, Technis 1 and Sensor 1, doesn't. I have follow-up of more than four years, five years. There may be one or two glistening microvacuoles, but in Acrisoft IQ and in Acrisoft Multipiece, you will see a lot of glistening. Acris of single piece, I think there is less glistening. So, if you want to use Alcon lenses, go for 
Acris of single piece, not IQ, not Acris of multi piece. And now I'm going to remove all the viscoelastic substance that has been injected into the anterior chamber and capsular bag. First, I use Simco and irrigate and aspirate for some time. And then I use this irrigating probe of bimanual IA, irrigate the anterior chamber. Then I go behind the IA wheel and irrigate the capsular bag very nicely. All the viscoelastic substance that is there in the capsular bag comes out and this prevents rise of intraocular pressure in the postoperative period. It is very important to remove all the viscoelastic substance. If you want to see the happy face of a patient next day and if you want to see good vision in the early post-op period, remove all the viscoelastic substance. Now the side ports are hydrated with BSS stroma on either side of the stab incisions are hydrated with BSS so that these stab incisions close and become watertight. My main incision is constructed in such a way that it doesn't need hydration in most of the time. That's it. Now this is the final lavage of anterior chamber. I form the anterior chamber and conclude the case. Here it is. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you very much for watching.